So hi again, in this video we will be again talking about another orthographic view. The diagram is given here in your user manual. You can of course access it from our website that is funmec.com. And uh, let's take a look at the question again. So we have been asked to draw the sectional front view and sectional left side view along with the top view. So top view there is no section and front and sectional uh, front and side views are both have to be drawn in uh, the section. So the section plane here will pass through the middle cutting this into two equal parts and we just have to draw one of the parts and when you see in the side view of course the section plane will pass here like this and it will cut this into two equal parts and we just have to draw the remaining part on the back side. So let's begin drawing that. So to begin we will go to our folder and open the template file that you have created in our first class. I have explained it in one of my videos so you will have to use the same template. So in order to reduce your work and make it more easier, I will provide the template when you come for the image exams. So let us start. So first of all, we will start with the front view because there are more number of circles in the front view. So let us take the diameter. Okay, the radius here is 12, 22. So I will take a circle of radius 22 and start with it. So I will just draw a horizontal line and trim off TR double enter, this lower part. Then uh, the height of the center from the bottom is 38. So what I have to do is I have to take a line here, 38 at the bottom, go straight and then take another line here, vertical. I'll trim this off. Next what I'll do is I'll take the total width that is 64. Half of 64 I'll take on both sides. So first I'll draw the midpoint here like this and offset of half that is 32. So offset 32 on both the sides I'll have to draw and uh, yes the total height here is 54 so offset 54 height right here then I'll just extend and make them meet here like this and this lines also they have to meet like this and this line at the center it doesn't appear so I'll just trim it off okay then here at the bottom we have this opening here of 32, 32 half is uh, 6, I mean 16, yeah so offset of 16 I have to take on both the sides, 16 on both the sides will give me 32 and the height of this is 15 so offset 15 I have to take here. Next I will have to trim this off and remove this. There is this inner circle also which appears here and the diameter of that is yeah 30 it's given here so diameter d enter 30 enter so that will complete the inner part here and now because we are drawing the sectional view what you have to do is uh, you have to be a little bit careful so here there is a hole here there's a hole here and here and all these holes they will leave some lines and the part that you have to hatch it will be very very small so be very very careful when you are drawing this so let me begin and uh, here the height is 6 mm here so offset of 6 mm I have to take here and here this will be touching over to this point and these lines they will just go away this line will also actually go away okay and this line will also go away I'll just trim this off, remove it. And next here we need this circle. The center of that is 38 from the bottom. So offset of 38 from the bottom. I'll have to take it here. And this is diameter 20. So offset diameter 20. Diameter 20 means we'll have to take offset on 10 on both sides. And this is going and meeting this circle over here. Fine. Then we have a hole from the top, the distance of that is 48, so from center I have to take 24 distance on both the sides. And uh, the diameter of that is 8, so 4 mm offset on both sides. 4 mm offset on both the sides. Trim this off. Yes, so this will measure the line has appeared here. And the same I will just mirror it on the other side, so that same copy I will get it here as well. And all these are access lines, so I can just erase them out totally. Mm -hmm. Erase them out. All these lines are not required. Fine. So now I can just put a hatching. A hatching, I have to take NC and all these parts. These parts, these parts. This is the hatching line. 
Fine. So you can see only in this part the hatching will be there because this hatched section is the only section which is touching the cutting plane over here. Next up, I'll go ahead and draw the side view. Fine. So I'll go ahead and draw the side view. So I'll take a line straight from here and I'll start drawing it from here. So from this point, this total width is 48. So I'll have to take offset 48. So I'll take 48 offset on this side. I'll just move this a little on this side so that, yeah, okay. Appears like this. And I'll trim that off. And yeah, so now I can start drawing this. So from this upper middle point, I can take one line. Fine, that will give me the top point. And then I'll just make this join then I'll have to take the, this point and this point so fine so that will leave a hole around here so I'll just have to trim this up and then uh, you can see from the side here there's a uh, up uh, this thing I have to take a midpoint a line at the midpoint and here this width is 28 and here we have 34 so when I'm doing section, this uh, line 34 line will not appear. We just have to draw 20. So let me take offset, offset of 10 on both sides will give me total of 20. And the height required here is 6 mm. So offset of 16 height you can take it. Okay, and you can just remove this off. Okay, so we have got this groove. Next, we will need this circle. The height of that circle is 38, so offset of 38 from the bottom and the intersection point. I have to draw this circle of diameter 20. So this hole will be visible. And uh, this line over here to uh, almost won't exist, so I'll just remove it completely. Mm -hmm. So from the top up to this line yes this line this line okay now it is to be from this line over here right okay from this line yeah here the same thing yes so this line we made a small mistake actually I have taken an offset from here as 38 actually it should be from the bottom line so what I will do is I will just move this circle from this point to this point that will make the correction needed okay next when we do the section here uh, this portion here of 15 height will not be sectioned so I will have to draw that line so offset of 15 I will get a line and this line has to go all the way to the end so only this part and this part these are the parts that need hatching so when you do hatching only these portions need to be hatched and that's it that's that's the only part which is hatched yes so that's it that much we'll see in the side view now coming to the top view I'll have to proceed again just as before I'll have to draw a horizontal line and move it here till it touches and a vertical line and then I'll have to draw a circle starting here trim the circle off okay and then this is the starting point of my top view fine I can take offset through and go on creating additional points as required offset through and yes I'll just keep this a little further away from the x1 by 1 line so that it doesn't create any problems okay so these lines I can just trim them off and this is the top view okay offset through I can just take it offset through then trim off and now from the top view when you see this is the total width along with this total width you will also see this 34 width so I'll take center line and offset 34 half is 17 so 17 offsets you have to take on both sides and uh, yes you will also need this line over here and here now this 22 mm radius will be visible so offset 22 mm on both sides 
and yeah this will not be visible in the top view so this will go away and now when you see from the top you will see these two lines so the intersection of this circle with this line this intersection point you have to take this intersection point straight I have to take here and this will come only up to here so I'll just trim this off and uh, yes this line has to go away I'll just mirror it on the other side and repeat the same procedure this lines will not be visible so it is with these two lines they will just go away okay I'll need that line just keep it so now this diameter here is 20 so offset of 10 mm on both sides I have to do and this will come only up to this particular line so so we will not draw the hidden edges because that will be very very complicated so we'll just draw this what is visible from the top and leave it at that point so 48 distance uh, we'll have to take so offset of 24 on both sides and at these intersections I'll have to draw circular holes of diameter 8 you can see here so diameter 8 on both the sides diameter 8 and then just remove all the access lines you don't need it you don't need them now well, this is how it appears in the top view that's it that's how it appears in the top view we are not drawing hidden lines just, so we'll just ignore it all you can just remove these lines if you don't need them and yeah these are the sectional front view sectional side view and the top view without any hidden edges if you draw the hidden edges of course there is an intersection between the two so just to show you the 3d concept i've drawn this diagram here in 3d and if you see the sectional view over here you can see this is how it appears so when you see the section view here you can see here this is how it appears in the front view so only this part this portion needs to be hatched and this is the uh, surface which is touching our cutting section the same we have drawn it is confirmed you can see here there are two holes we have drawn the holes and here bottom this part so here you can see this part is instead of being a straight line it is slightly round but we'll just ignore that for now here and the same way if we just turn off the section and instead start to see this particular section you can see this is how it is on the right side so this is the only section the only portion that we need have to do the hatching for and you can see here this hole just remains open and here at the bottom we have this opening okay so i hope you have understood this concept perfectly using the 3d model as well as the 2d images that we have drawn